Hello friends, this is Frank from Germany with the next video session about the solar dispenser. No, first of all, I was sick uh, before I was on a vacation. Now I was sick last week, but I work a little bit with uh, the solar dispenser and uh, it looks very good, but it's not perfect. I want to show um, my changes in chili pepper, the features uh, and the theoretical theoretical session now and the next video session is a practical video session and i promise you see the first solar drops not on the pcb but on the aluminium plate and i need some time to find the perfect parameters for this but <clears throat> now i want to show you the issues and the new features for the chili pepper. Also the issues I come or I run uh, at my first tests and um, yes, my solutions. Um, I think you are very surprised and don't speak about it, do it. So now the next solution, uh, it's, um, um, I want to show you some features I implement in this EGPC import. First of all, you see uh, the drops and um, you can go to this pens tab and then you see a new thing and this is the dispense position offset for X and Y axis. You can put the offset because the offset uh, means the middle of the spindle to the middle of this dispenser. I uh, put this in my CAMBAM file and you see the offset from the middle of the spindle to the middle of the uh, dispenser stepper is minus 56413 uh, millimeter in Y axis. Uh, this means, wait a moment, this distance I think. And the other one is minus 30 millimeters. This is this um, distance. So, <clears throat> and we can put these values here. Go to the chili pepper. And then we check this again. So I can put this a little bit so. Minus 56.413, and the other one it's minus 30. And then uh, this values will be saved in your local space. And if you uh, call this website again, then you see this values again. It's uh, it's it's uh, very important to uh, put this not every day. And also, uh, you can put the start and release offset. This is the start and stop release offset. You can go back one or two millimeters or three millimeters, what do you want? And uh, it's good that you stop the flowing uh, the solar paste over the canola. So I hope you like it. Um, uh, and um, yes, um, please. Uh, have a little bit patient. I uh, check a lot of parameters here. I have also a job. Uh, and um, next time I will promise you see the first solar dispense drop uh, on an aluminium plate, not a PCB. And I have a lot of ideas uh, to show you. And this was my first photo to make a uh, yeah, kind of successful solar dispensing on the aluminium plate. And um, I make or rewrote a little bit John Lauer's uh, Marco. He published this a uh, couple of weeks ago. Uh, you see this here in his, um, in his um, video session. And you see the machine moves. And then a second controller uh, uh, moves the stepper. And I rewrote a little bit. Uh, first of all, thank you to John Lauer for this very nice piece of work because this uh, 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 this problems was gone for me, and that was um, I'm very thankful. Thank you, thank you. Uh, it was very good work. And I rewrote a little bit this macro, and you can get this on uh, github.com xpix uh, with a new name for this is x displays short to explain 
what is x displays this means um, all my um, uh, projects start with an x because my pseudonym is xpix in, uh, in the internet 20 years ago i decide to have this name and yeah all my projects start with x i don't know why but yes and <clears throat> This for dispenser and pick and place for place, also X displays. So um, here you see also a little uh, readme with uh, to our playlist. You know this playlist, and now you can go to Chili Pepper widgets, and uh, the, here you see the dispenser macro JS. This uh, is to use. You can say cut and place. Uh, you can uh, make a copy and paste in the macro feature from chili pepper and then it will run i can uh, i can show you this no problem a little demonstration here copy and then go in this uh, macro and run and you say so does Panzer macro also the new feature from John, uh, he published this uh, three weeks ago, was it, uh, you can um, edit a startup macro. And you see, I make this also control all, control V, and then you can say uh, save the startup macro and run. That's all. Yeah. And what make this macro? Um, a little short explain. Um, he um, subscribes uh, some events. Uh, the first uh, subscribe is on Chili, pause on execute or pause on complete. This is different. I think this was uh, Teeny G and this was uh, called it at Gerbil, but it's not so important. Important is more this one. It's added for me. Uh, we can also uh, um, subscribe the status of your controller of your second of your first controller and when we say it's pause then he go from run to idle and we check this um, in the dispenser code i don't want uh, explain the the whole the whole code but you see here um, he uh, subscribed this event and then the Holy piece of work is, yeah, is here. He called this dispense and he, uh, this dispense check first the state because we pump a lot of comments uh, to the TinyG or Gerber controller on the main controller and we don't know when uh, he is finished with this comments. Yes, and this is the point. This is asynchrone and now um, we get the status from this uh, from this uh, controller and set us to this state here you see this pepper states changed and then he changed this from maybe run to idle and then we now okay dispense is call it maybe every 250 milliseconds or so and he check ah the state is uh, not idle okay time out 250 and go out yeah and if you have an idle state then the main controller is a pause in in pause state and then we can uh, start our uh, dispensing so this is a dispensing on himself it's a little bit more complicated but i want to show you this uh, we get um, a line yes um, john start um, the the, the pause with a comment, yeah, you see this here, chili pepper pause drop three G1 X 9.5. This means the main controller make a pause. This is my comment. What has happened now? If you want to make a drop and this is the G code only for the drop. And you see a little bit uh, code here and so on. It's uh, I see. Uh, Ah, it's an old code. Ah, okay. <clears throat> and he make uh, the following process. He press. So this dispensing um, <clears throat> drop process is a little bit complicated, but I want to explain because we have to press and then release. 
And um, I want to show you this here with this little demonstration. You see the P-word, the syringe, and uh, yes, this is our stamp here. <clears throat> and now I want to show <clears throat> the, the solder dispensing dropping is started. Then he go to the last original position and then he press maybe with 0.01 millimeters and then he go back. The next drum come go to the uh, original original position, press, go back. This is uh, very important because um, the solar paste will fluid and fluid and fluid. And you must release the pivot to make only a drop and not a line. And this is uh, this process. You see, uh, first of all, we say it's a relation coordination. It's not absolute. Then we go back to the uh, original position, press and go or release the pivot uh, to the position. Also, we now uh, two um, um, comments. This is start. And stop. Start will start at the at the beginning of the G code for dispensing, and stop at the end because I want uh, to go back maybe one or two five millimeters to release complete. This is uh, very good because uh, also uh, uh, the 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 solar paste will not flowing. That's my mostly problem. Then I press and. Uh, the, the solar paste flowing on the corner and flowing and flowing. You must go back. That's all. Okay, <clears throat> that's a macro. Uh, you can uh, get this uh, on from this first address. And with this macro, I uh, uh, test a lot of parameters and so on to find the perfect parameters. The next one uh, I want to show you uh, in which. Um, the next issue or I run in it, it was um, the problem. We put the syringe in this holder and if the stepper press, then the syringe will slipping in this hole yeah, to go down. And this is not very good. My solution was very simple. I use a pipe with the inside diameter. This is a plastic pipe from uh, Gardena Garden uh, Water System. And um, the good side is the inside diameter is um, close to 19 millimeters. And the outside here is 18.75 or so. Then you can put this on the syringe, put this again um, to this hole. And then the stepper can press and the syringe will hold in his position. Um, the best thing is we don't use uh, this black pipe. This was only for the first prototype. We use um, acryl glass or acryl glass pipe with inside 19 millimeters. I get pipes uh, with 100 millimeters long. Uh, for maybe one buck. And you can see everything is cool. We can put this on this holder and then you see what has happened inside this uh, syringe and I think it's a very nice uh, solution. My pipe is only 40 millimeters long. I uh, mill this um, with uh, my CNC machine. It's easy. You set the end mill on, on this position and then he go back and forth and cut this. So now I want to show you the next issue because <clears throat> uh, an example, you want to fill this fluid in this one. And the problem mostly is um, you uh, it's not allowed to pump air inside. Yes, you can put this here inside, but the problem you put uh, then the pivo inside and uh, you uh, has a lot of air in your solar paste and that's not low. Okay, I read a little bit about uh, this topic and um, the funny thing was uh, a lot of people have 
practice problem and uh, they say okay you can uh, get a silicon pipe six millimeter silicon pipe put us here uh, and here and then you put this fluid inside with this pivot uh, to the other syringe but the better way is um, um, the professional way and I call the medicine store and he was very nice this was an old man in an apotheque a German medical store has the name apotheque and he said yeah okay we have um, um, an adapter for uh, this lure lock system and this is a coupling lure lock adapter you see this here it's it's a plastic piece uh, and cost maybe one or two bucks and it's mostly sterile right? you know it's uh, for the medicine things okay first of all you take this put the pivo uh, the close to to uh, that you can and then you put first of all this adapter to the syringe with the fluid press a little bit so and then you press from the other side and watch the fluid come through this adapter close to the end and then you screw this on the other syringe so and then you can press from the other size so and press yeah well, and you see the fluid will come to the other syringe and the good thing is the 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 air is only on the pivot but the pivot is very flexible and if you press from the other side then the air will gone so and then uh, you have no air uh, on this on the syringe here and uh, yeah it's perfect that's the first solution for my first issue so the next issue i run was um my bad quality of my solar paste the problem mostly I don't put my solar paste in a fridge or so. I have this lying around here and um, no, the solar paste was very cheap, maybe five bucks or so. And I think I uh, read a little bit about in the internet and so on. And I think, okay, we have to heat the PCB before we dispense the drops. And <clears throat> oh, I search a little bit and I found this one maybe you know this that's a heat bed i make this through that's a heat bed um in in, uh, in in the base it's only um a, a pcb with with uh, very small signal lines and the problem from this heat bed it's very cool but it's too big yes uh, it's 200 to 200 millimeters and um, i think um, for the first prototype for our complete machine we um, make maximum 100 to 100 millimeters uh, pcbs <clears throat> maybe the euro card 100 to 160 it's also possible but the good solution is this thing it's um uh, use a lot of energy yes i read um, uh, on my um, lab um, power station he used maximum 3.5 uh, ampere it's a lot but i think if you make it a little bit uh, smaller and maybe with some electronics we make this uh, to 100 to 100 or 160 millimeters and then we can use this to heat up our pcb um i want uh, to show you uh, some eagle or schematics files and maybe it's also a good idea for the first test milling if you want to complete this machine then you can um, this uh, heat pad uh, produce on your CNC machine in, in a kind of do-it-yourself and open source and I think it's a good idea to test your machine how it's milling can I mill uh, some PCBs or not I think a good idea